Jeez, I get some stupid ideas. I've been telling Nicole for a couple of months now that I really want to cast my face. But I don't know if you saw Jedrick's video last week, and he actually did it. And it turned out amazing. He did such a wonderful job. And because of that, I feel like I can't do it now because I just don't think I'm going to make one as good as he did. So when I was going to sleep last night, I was laying there and I had this really stupid idea that I want to cast my tongue. Now before I get into this one, I did read the instructions and this alginate, which is the same one I used to do my hand, it is non-toxic and it is safe, so it should be okay, but this goes without saying. So my plan is to mix up the alginate inside this cup and then stick my tongue in there. Now we know from the process when I did my hand that one minute was a load of BS. So for this one, I'm going to wait a bit longer until I feel like the time's right, then I'm going to jam my tongue in there. Now because the instructions only tell you the ratio on using the full packets, and I won't be using the full packet, I'm going to have to try and guess how much cold water I'm going to need. Not too sure how much to put in here, because as soon as you add the water it changes the volume quite a fair bit. And I think as well as casting my tongue, it's probably going to get a bit of my chin and my lips too, probably. Instead of using a whisk, I'm going to use a fork this time. I think it'll still be alright. I think I'll just pour in the cold water until I feel the consistency's right. I think that looks pretty good. My cup's a bit too big. Let's see if I can quickly cut it. Wow, that was quick. I must have stuffed something up when I did my hand because that definitely set quick. Well, wow, maybe you do only have a minute. All right, take two. Damn, I don't think I've got enough room again. Oh, here goes nothing. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Mmm. 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 Oh, that was so bad. I don't know if I like it. I think I might try it again. Maybe a smaller cup this time. Let's have another go. Dunno. I do like the idea that I squeezed the cup as I got it to my mouth. Maybe we have one more go. Third time lucky, maybe? You can see here this one, I didn't quite get some alginate around the outside. Still looks pretty good though, but I like the squeezing the cup idea. I think we'll have to go for round three. Well, we hit the side on that one a little bit too, but that's probably one of our better ones. Look at all this mess. Nicole hates it when I make a big mess. All right, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and wash my mouth out. Probably clean my face, because no doubt I got crap all over it. Be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. I've got my three alginate molds. Not sure which one will be the best one, but we've got a few here to test out. Now, when I've used alginate molds in the past, I've just poured my resin straight in, but this time I wanna try something a little different. I've been sent this test sample of silicon rubber from Just Resin and I've been keen to try it out so I think this is the perfect opportunity I'm going to mix some up and make some silicon tongues. So I haven't done too much work with silicon rubber and this particular one is a Shore Ray with a rating of 37 to 40 and that basically means how strong the mould's going to be. I'll insert a quick picture here and you can see what all the different numbers mean. With it being a 1 to 1 ratio I'm just going to pour equal parts into these smaller cups then put it into the big one to mix it. I 
I really hope this works. I don't want to have to stick my tongue in that crap again. All right, that looks like it's mixed pretty well. Now let's pour it into these molds. Whoops. I didn't realize the side of the cup had disappeared there. You know that hole we blew in the side? It's all leaking out. That's not going to be very good. So I guess the only thing left to do now is let it sit, come back once it's fully set and see if we have successful tongues. It's all nice and hard. Let's take it apart. Oh my god, that looks so bad. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible. Oh my god. That's pretty funny. Well, there's our first molding. Looks like I can't stick my tongue out very far. It doesn't look very good at all. Let's pull the other ones apart. Tell you what, these are really strong molds. Time for a bit of surgery, I think. There we go. So you can see where that one broke through the cup on the back side here. So I do have an option just to tidy that up a little bit. That's not bad. Time for lucky number three. Wow, this could be our best one. Check that one out. That looks pretty creepy. Well, I don't mind it. I think I kind of like it. All right, I'm going to clean these up as best I can. I'm going to get rid of all the excess silicon and all the little bits we don't need, and then we'll come back and check them out. Oh man, are you guys ready to see these? Look at this. How cool does that look? Looks so awesome. This one looks really cool as well. You can see the way my bottom lip squished out. This one's even got my little hairs under my lip there. How cool is that? Now the third one, I could only really salvage the tongue, but unfortunately underneath just didn't turn out too well. It was stuck to other pieces of silicon and it was really hard to get off. So I might abandon that one, but these two are awesome. We're definitely gonna do these ones. I've got myself a couple of molds. Now we need to work out how we're gonna do it. I think the best way is gonna to be to suspend them in the top. So I think I'm just gonna grab myself some long skewers, put them through and hopefully we can rest them on there. Gee, that's harder than I thought it would be. Originally I was gonna try and push these skewers all the way through, but that was never gonna happen. So I've just put four on each side. That should hold it up. I wonder if these will float when I put the resin in. You know what? They probably can. I think I'm going to have to find out a way of taping them down as well. Before I go sticking them down, I'm just going to spray them with some mold release. Look at this. It's even got a little flap there. That's awesome. Now that I've got them all taped down, the next step is to get the resin ready. I'll be using art cast for this one, and I'll also be adding some alcohol ink. I'm not too sure which will be the best colour to use. I think I'm just going to try a red and a blue. Do you guys think this will even work? I'm not even too sure it will. I think we'll go blue for the smaller one.
I might add another drop into that. That's looking pretty cool. Okay, we've got our two castings. I'm gonna go pop these in the pressure pot and we'll check on them later. Before I show you my tongues, check this out. Nicole and I have made limited edition Christmas blanks and I'm gonna turn these into dragon eggs. If I get them finished before the end of this video, I'll show you the finished egg at the end, but if not, you can check them out on my Etsy store. I'll leave a link in the description. Here's our castings, straight out of the pot. I'm so excited to demold these. Check it out. All right, let's get them out of here. Hopefully our mold release did the job. You know what? I'm just gonna pull these out first. Make it a bit easier to get out. Oh. Oh, I still can't get over how good that looks. Okay, are we ready? Check that out. Wow. That looks so cool. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. That looks so great. All right, let's check this other one. Got the tongue out. Oh. I might be in a bit of trouble here. If I can't get this out, Nicole is gonna kill me. This is one of her Tupperware containers. Oh my God, I hope this comes out. All right, here's a little update. I've got all the walls to release from the actual resin, but I still can't get it out. Like you can, you can hear that I've got it all loose. I tried tapping it, bashing it. I can't get it. I think I just got to keep slowly working at it. I feel like I'm moving it, but it's like really slow. Oh, yes. Check that one out. I don't know about these curved sides. It takes away from it a little bit. Distorts it a little, but... I still think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys reckon? And more importantly, I've still got an intact container. So now that I have them out of the mold, I'm just gonna go put them on the buffing wheel and see if I can shine them up a little bit. Okay, you ready for this reveal? Look at that. How cool does that look? Man, I'm so happy with how these turned out. I think it looks amazing. Now I'm not as happy with the blue one because it's got the rounded sides and it kind of distorts it a little bit. Like it still looks really cool, but I think what I might do with this one, when I get some spare time, I might square up all the edges. And if I do end up doing that, I'll put some pictures on my Instagram page. Well, that's all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. I did manage to finish these limited edition Christmas eggs. They're available now in my Etsy store. If you like this one, please consider liking and sharing. It really helps me out a lot. And if it's your first time here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.